Hi, I'm Kristen. Welcome to Enkindle Family Scripture Reflections, a service of Enkindle Catholic. You can learn more about how we support families and the parishes who serve them by going to EnkindleCatholic.org. Today we'll be looking at the readings for the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time, July 21st, 2024. Let's start with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, you speak to us through the scriptures, the scriptures that are your word, not just spoken to people long ago, but spoken to us now. Your word is living and effective. Lord, help us to open our ears and our minds and our hearts to hear all that you want to speak to us through the scripture readings for this Sunday, and help us to be obedient to all that you want to do in and through and for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a lot of shepherd references this Sunday in the scripture readings. A lot of the Lord speaking to us through scripture about our need, we, his people, his beloved people, for a good shepherd. And you probably know this, a shepherd takes care of sheep, right? But he doesn't just kind of take care of them like it's his job. He takes care of them like his life depends on it because he cares about them. A good shepherd is even willing, scripture says, to lay down his life for his sheep. He knows them. He pays attention to them. He knows what they need and he gives them what they need. He knows when they need protection and he gives it to them. He knows when they need rest and he gives it to them. In the psalm for this Sunday, David, who was a shepherd, who then became king, talks all about the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, right? David says, I am a shepherd of sheep, but the Lord is my shepherd. And just like I take care of my sheep and I try to make sure they have food and water and rest and that they're safe and never in danger, the Lord does exactly that and more for me. And we see that actually happening in the gospel. We see how Jesus, the good shepherd, is actively being a shepherd for the people he loves. We see him noticing that his apostles are tired, right? He doesn't say that, hey, you guys are tired. The apostles come and they report all that they've been doing, all that they've taught, because Jesus had sent them out to do things and teach. And Jesus says, come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. He knew that that's what they needed. But then when they got to that, what was a deserted place, it was no longer deserted, right? Deserted means there's nobody else there. But when they get there, suddenly there's a crowd there. People found out where they were going and people showed up. Why? Because they needed Jesus. These were all people who realize I'm kind of like, a sheep without a shepherd. And that's what Jesus thinks. They were like sheep without a shepherd. And so what does he do? He teaches them many things. Jesus is our good shepherd. And the question we need to ask ourselves this week, I think, is, are we willing to be good sheep? Are we willing to be good sheep who obey the shepherd? And so when the shepherd says, come, it's time to serve others, we say, okay. And when the shepherd says, come, it's time to rest, we say, okay. And when the shepherd says, come and just sit with me and let me love you and take care of you, we say, okay. And when the shepherd says, come with me and help me take care of other sheep, we say, okay. Are we prepared to be good sheep? Because there's no doubt that Jesus is the good shepherd and he knows our needs And he wants to take care of them all. But in order for Jesus to fully be able to take care of us, because he respects our freedom, we have to be willing to be good sheep. Where is Jesus trying to shepherd you this week? Where is he telling you that you need rest or you need to work harder or you need to do or not do something? And how are you listening for his voice? It's much easier for an actual sheep to listen to the voice of the shepherd because it's a voice they can hear with their ears, right? But of course, we hear Jesus in our heart. But sometimes he also speaks in ways that our ears can hear. He shepherds us through people who love us like our parents and our priests and our bishops. 
and our youth ministers and our coaches and our teachers, anyone who is speaking the love and the message of the Good Shepherd. So I encourage you to join me in really considering this week. Lord, where are you trying to shepherd me? Because you are a good shepherd. And where am I currently being not a great sheep? A disobedient sheep, a rambunctious, rebellious sheep. And give me the grace to be a good sheep as you shepherd me ever closer to your heart. Lord Jesus, you guide us, you protect us, you love us, you know us inside and out. Give us the grace to trust in you. Give us the grace to recognize your voice and your call in our lives. Give us the grace to be obedient because everything that you ask of us, everything that you tell us to do, Lord, is always for our good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.